Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Justin. It's Saturday. That means it's time for another trip back to the movies. Uh, all week, uh, it's been in my head to do this movie, and I feel it's time to do it. So today, we're going to be doing the 2010 comedy, The Other Guys, directed by Adam McKay. And this stars a who's who of actors. You've got Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg. Um, you've got... Eva Mendez, you've got Ray Stevenson, uh, Samuel L. Jackson, The Rock, Rob Riggle, Damon Wayans Jr., uh, Steve Coogan, and of course, to me, the guy who steals the entire movie, Michael Keaton. Now, you know, let's let's be clear. I love movies, but I know that certain actors are hit or miss with people, especially in comedies. You could pull 100 people and you might get 60 people who say they love Will Ferrell and you're going to get 40 people that detest him. There's not really a lot of middle ground with him. And that's okay. I've always been a Will Ferrell fan ever since he was on SNL. And I love how you know he makes movies that are... You know, comedies, they're not full-on parodies, but in a sense, they are. You know, you look at his movies like Semi-Pro. It's obviously a parody of serious basketball movies, more from the 90s than anything, If, if in, from my perspective. Um, you know, even Blades of Glory is mocking serious sports movies. And the other guys, I think is hilarious... And it's mocking serious cop dramas and even serious buddy cop dramas like A Lethal Weapon. And I love that franchise as well. This is more solely focused on the comedy, whereas the comedy in Lethal Weapon is, you know, subtler, but it's still there. So, again, I'm a huge fan of Will Ferrell, and this is one of my favorite Will Ferrell movies. Um, but not, not really just for him. Uh, to me, the ultimate scene stealer in this entire movie who has the most quotable lines, uh, one of, is Michael Keaton, who plays Captain Gene. And, you know, this is one of those movies that reminded me so much of when I was a kid and how quotable it is. Throughout the entire movie, you know, the quotes that he has, and, and to a lesser extent, the quotes that Will Ferrell has, uh, they they stick in my head, and I like they just come to me at random times. You know, similar to you know Jim Carrey movies from the nineties. You know, every once in a while they'll pop into my head. So, but Michael Keaton is my is one of my favorite actors of all time, and he just steals the show. There's a particular scene where he's. He he works two jobs, all right? I'm working here, and I'm working over at Bed and Bath & Beyond. And I'm doing that just so I can put my kid through NYU so he can explore his bisexuality and become a DJ. <laughs> it's just that line, that line, just the way he delivers it is perfect. And then there's another one where he works at, you know, he, he's at Bed Bath & Beyond, and he's talking about the new bath mats, and then... Another thing, there's a serial rapist in Crown Heights. Oh, wait, jeez. Ignore that. That's for my other job. Well, don't ignore it. If you live in Crown Heights, walk in pairs. Uh, it's just hilarious. And his running gag of quoting the band TLC, it it, it just makes the movie that much funnier. And it it's just a fun buddy cop movie. You've got the super serious Mark Wahlberg and the, you know, laid back, calm, demeanored Will Ferrell, who's in the, you know, hiding a past. And the past ends up being hilarious. And he was a pimp. And, you know, he meets his gorgeous wife, Eva Mendez, but just wants to treat her like a boring housewife. And it's just a fun and the running bit of these gorgeous women, Brooke Shields, um... 
Ava Mendez's character all being attracted to him. And then you find out at the end that he lost his virginity to Heather Locklear. It's, it's, it just makes, it's little things like that that make this movie so fun. You know, it's, it's a simple buddy cop, you know, silly over the top type of movie. You know, these two cops end up, you know, they have to, Wahlberg and Farrell aren't expected to amount to anything. But after Samuel L. Jackson and Dwayne The Rock Johnson's characters die over a hilariously stupid situation, they have to pick up the slack. And it's just it's just a fun, entertaining, silly, don't take itself seriously type of comedy. And that's what I like about Will Ferrell is it's just silly. It, it he he has movies where he takes himself a little too seriously, and I think those are the movies that tend to have not as good a fan reaction. It's movies like this that are just so entertaining, and like I don't see how you can't like Will Ferrell. And Wahlberg's hit or miss with me, but you you get the combination of Will Ferrell and Michael Keaton, and it just works. It makes for such a fun movie. And everybody else's role in the cast is well executed as well. You know, Adam McKay and Will Ferrell, again, proved that when they work together, they knock it out of the park more often than not. And it's just a really fun, entertaining comedy. You know, it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. I think it's I think it's worthy of a 7-7 seven, seven comedy. It's that good. Now, the comedy scale is a little different than a drama or an action movie. But for a comedy, you don't get much funnier than this, in my opinion. Uh, just, Michael Keaton is, is hilarious. Will Ferrell is fantastic. Everybody just works really well together. 7.7, 7, that's my review. The Other Guys, 2010. Uh, let me know what you think. Please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. I will see you guys next time at the movies. Take care.